Generic greetings, simple rockets too, a game where you make rockets and it should be quite simple, so let's give it a go, today's beverage is. Ah, Bovril, because it's cold outside so you can legitimately drink it now and not feel like an absolute moron. So this is in early access, version 0.6.6.1 as shown on the top right there. So it's not finished, there's still going to be uh, some more to add and there'll probably be bugs and things like that. As always, links are in the description so you can check out the patch notes yourself as well as what they plan on building and putting in during the early access period. I've played around 45 minutes of this, so certainly in first impressions I've done all of the tutorials, I've said all of them, there's only a couple, and I've... Um, done some sandbox mode and um, whatnot, but that's about it. I've got enough to get the bare bones down, so let's just play with it and see what it's like. So, as you can see, we've got lots of different challenges here, so low orbit, got a polar orbit, timed orbit, parachute landing, and things like that. So, parachute landing, what's this? Starting an orbit around Duro with a small rocket, you must make your way back to Duro, and is that Duro? Or Duro? Or Duro? And parachute safely to the ground. Let's not do that. Let's go for one, like, for example, um, I think we we'll go for this one here, which is the 100 kilometer altitude challenge. So, build a rocket that can reach an altitude of 100 kilometers above sea level so we'll start that and we will load up something uh, there's our pod that's what we are surviving in there's no kerbals in it and which is a crying shame but anyway uh, there's the original simple rockets I I can't remember whether I've played or not I feel like I have played it but I can't remember playing it I've certainly played simple planes but the difference from Simple Rockets to Simple Rockets 2 is basically there's another dimension in it. it's 3d rather than 2d and um, it is very much like a sort of simplified Kerbal program, but the building is quite, it's quite powerful actually, it's quite easy to build stuff. So this is our pod, we need to get that into the space, and we can do stuff like that and sort of drag these around and change the uh, the front of it, and do we really need a cone on the front? It's, look, it feels like we need a cone on the front, so I'm going to put one on the front. What else have we got? Heat shield provides protection from intense heat during re-entry. Well, we're not going to do re-entry, but let's just keep that cone on there. So we need to have probably a fuel tank, which we will click and drag, and that's all kinds of not right. So let's just go for, hang on, I want to click there and move it to to there and you can see we can expand it we can make it go up and down all sort of thing and I believe that will also alter the amount of fuel in there we've got to toggle we can see there's dead weight there's fuel in there so if we make it a different size yes we actually increase the amount of fuel in there so I'm going to probably go for something like uh, that I think uh, that should be about fine. You can change like the textures and tinkering and stuff like that. I haven't really messed around with a lot of the advanced options, so not really confident too much in that one. But anyway, let's go for a. Uh, what is that? Which engine's that one? We actually don't want to go for that one. That's a too powerful. We want to go for a pixie engine because this is just our very very small thing. We can if we wanted to put one of these engines on, which is. Uh this is, this is a ion engine, I believe, which is efficient engine that expels ions at nearly 50 kilometers a second. Requires electricity, though, so we'd need to have a separate fuel source, so I'm not going to do that. I believe if we click on that, we can... Pro can we alter the fuel? Uh, fuel type RP run, micropellant, xenon, um, battery. Should we do that? Should we have this as... Instead of having it as a... As one of those engines, the Pixie engines fuel type RP1. Let's go for this, which is Xenon. So we'll go for that. So we'll stick that on there, which looks... Oh my good grief, it looks really, really pathetic, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> we're going to keep it as... Oh dear. Um, we're going to keep it as that size, I think. And there we go. So we do need to alter that one. So we've clicked on that. We go to Advanced Options. We're going to change that to Xenon. Auto Resize is on, and our fuel type is all right, one would hope, anywhere. And there we go. And we can't make it any bigger because the engine's on there, but once we remove it, then we can. Let's make it that size, and there we go. So, there's all that fine. What we also want to do is we want to put some... We want to put some solar panels on it because it wouldn't be a spaceship without it, would it? Oh, we could put some wings on it as well. Oh my good grief, maybe not. Uh, let's just get rid of that. The controls are very simple. It's literally click and drag and move the stuff around. It's very, very simple. Uh, you've also got wheels, rover wheels and shocks and stuff, so you can do ground things. I haven't tried it yet, but... I believe you can. You've also got a test dummy as well. Anyway, so we want to go over to... Where would it be? It wouldn't be in structural. It would be in... That's a rotor, so it turns things out to hinge. Uh, where would it be? What's up there, actually? A parachute. We could put a parachute on there. Should we try and put a parachute on? Are we just doing too much? I think we are just doing too much, aren't we? And we also haven't got a heat shield, so let's pull that off there. And instead, what we'll do is we'll put a heat shield on the bottom, and then we'll connect that to there. So technically, this can re-enter. So maybe if we build this, try and do the challenge, and then maybe re-enter. But 
to be honest with you, we'll probably get halfway uh, to... <laughs> we'll get halfway into orbit and then just crash into the ground probably because we run out of fuel almost inevitably right so we've got things like uh, side into stage which we don't want struts no we do really 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 want oh look at that it's like a cargo bay door oh that's cool oh, so you make like the shuttle and stuff yeah I'm guessing that more parts will be added as the game progresses on. Uh, where's my solar panel? There's a solar panel there, and there we go, solar panel array. That's what I was looking for. So we'll put a solar panel array on right on the side, like so. Uh, is there a way we can turn a grid on? I do not know. Um, view options, center of mass, center of, oh, center of, center of mass, center of lift and what's that one center of thrust that's okay camera options and different stages so craft from the side yeah craft from the front and then craft from the top so that just doesn't seem to be fit on at all that doesn't sort of line up at all does it with anything anyway it can go there so we want it on the other side no grid which is a shame but we can use this symmetry tool and we can say mirror to the side, or we can say radial. So part is radically cloned twice around the outside. So that is terrible. That doesn't even fit on at all. And I don't think it's going to work, is it? It doesn't really fit on at all. Um, just because of the shape. <laughs> we can't really rotate it around. There's three of them, which three of them look better. I'm guessing you can go for four and then five and then six and then, yeah. Uh, mirror just doesn't work out at all. Mm, you know what? I'll go for three because at least the third one seemed to be reasonable. Anyway, there we go. There's our solar panels. What we want to do is also change those solar panels. You can see they've got a big grid there. I'm going to change that to row size one and increase these out to probably about... F I think three should be fine. That should be all right, although it's a bit of a waste. So maybe let's go for four. Right, so that's the that's what will just be going around a standard. Uh, around the planet and then when we're going down we'll use the parachute <laughs> we hope although we do have a problem because this entire section doesn't jettison and I probably need to sort that out first so I will go for pulling this down we'll go over to the building and we will say where is it building no that's wrong that's positioning and grid size oh see there is a grid size option yeah there is ah uh, okay that's fine that's uh, we, we could alter the angle manually that's pretty good uh Heart shape tool, angle snapping. So yes, you can, you can manually adjust that, which I will do in but a moment. And I didn't really want to do that. Can you undo? You can undo. Perfect. So I want to get rid of that. Do you, you please remove the bit that's not. Why you? Why not do? Right, that. That bit there. See that bit there? I want that to be gone, please. I think I have to connect it to this in order to do it. Anyway, let's go back to what I was going to do, which is we want to get these into stage, which I'll put the into stage as small as possible. That's all we need. And that can go on there. And there we go. Now now we can remove these parts. And there we go. Right. So what I'll do is I'll look from a top-down view. So we want to go for um, the detail movement that one want to go for rotation of part and rotate it there but that's the wrong snapping angle I'll have to alter it so let me just see if I can center this one um, there we go actually we'll probably use the camera controls uh, camera controls uh, camera controls top down view there we go perfect clicking on this part we want to alter it so it is rotation rotation of angle snap is going to be from five degrees and we will alter it so that it is there. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'll move it around first to... Hang on. To there. That's fine. And then I'll rotate it. Is that right? No snapping. Just manually do it. that seem right? There we go. Okay, and then we'll clone that. That looks much better, doesn't it? That looks much better. Perfect, that's what we're going to do. Okay, options for panels. We're going to have the two panels now, and we'll increase that to size. 
Six. Okay, that's fine. So, there's <laughs> still something that doesn't work. Um, we do need to go for another decoupler, which will go there, and it'll be quite small. We will have a fuel tank, which will be probably quite large, which is about that. We will put on a... Uh, Mage 1 engine. I just need to double check that to make sure it is the right fuel. Does it keep the previous fuel settings? It does not. It's RP1 by default, which is fine. So we now have a rocket and the engine. Or we have the fuel tank and the engine. We want two side bits so we can happily... Uh, jettison those pods later on. I think this might be a little bit too small, so I'm going to pull it further down. Although that does make it heavier, so maybe it's best that I don't do that. Maybe that's about the right size. As always, this is just what we'll mess up first and then continue to mess up until we m maybe get something correct. So, I want to have a decoupler of some kind, if I could find it. A uh, hinge. No, no. Uh, there it is. Side into stage, which will go in there. That is fine. That's about on the middle. What I'll do is I'll rotate it round so it is roughly in line with this because that would make sense. And there we go. That is now in line. And we will build something here. So we will connect it on there. You can see there's like different tabs. We'll pull this further forward and then further down. Um, it's not going to be right next to it, but that should be about fine. We're going to put that on there. If we wanted to, we can shrink. We can make it like bigger at the top or um, like sort of pointed, I think we'll just have it as the default size. Because if I wanted to, for example, I could do this. I could go up like that and then put another fuel tank on it. Actually, I'm hoping this is the case. Uh, will that connect up? It should... Hang on. Let me just get closer to this thing. Uh, it should hopefully count as the same tank. Because if we, I want to bring that up to there and then shrink it down just for effect so it looks a bit better. And I'm hoping those two are connected, but I will check that. So we want to go over to the engines and this big engine there. And that fits on just about right. We'll increase it just by one size. We're just giving it a little bit of a taper there. That's all you see. So the question is, are these connected? I don't know. So that one and that one do have separate ones. So we can check in here. Um, part one fuel line yes so allow connected engines to search this part and its connected parts for fuel tanks so hopefully those are shared I really don't know whether that is the case or not but we can only find out so I'm going to click on that bit there I will go over to the mirroring option and we will mirror it to uh, radial 2 and there we go. That is our rocket. Quite easy to build. I hope you uh, agree. Stage 1 is them engines. Stage 2 is to decouple. Stage 3 is central engine. Stage 4 is to decouple that one. Stage 5 is to activate that one. Stage 6 is to decouple. Stage 7 is to come back down. Right. Let's see what happens. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. I have a feeling it probably won't. Okay, so we have different options. We can... Um, why would you have throttle over here? I didn't put that on. At least, oh, there we go. You have options for um, pitch roll. Your, you can add, um, add these different things. So you can add different sliders and stuff and add brake and things. We don't want any of those because it can all be controlled from here. So we have a very, very sparse area, but we want to go up and let's try that. So we will put maximum thrustage on, which is using shift and control. And we see we do have an option for solar panels. So we can, if we wanted to extend those, there we go. And I have a feeling that that would be, oh yeah, that's, that's not, no, no. Can we please close those? They are sort of hitting the edge and going all over the place. Yeah, we've already messed that flight up. Don't worry, everything's insured. Okay, so max that out and stage one. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, good. Right. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> end of flight, exit. <laughs> so, was it wrong with the stages? Stage one is them two. 
Why on earth did that not work? Is it just too heavy? High fuel consumption. Let's double the fuel consumption for these. Right, let's see what happens there. I think it just might be too heavy. I mean, the heat shield is a heavy thing anyway, so let's go. Oh, there we go. That is going, and oh my good grief, the fuel consumption is massive. Right, so we need to achieve a bit of altitude, and then what we'll do is we will start banking over to about 75 degrees. You can see, I, what I'm not a big fan of, when you move it, it does go boom, and immediately sort of rock back and forward. Seems a bit iffy there. So there we go, we are heading up, and we are gaining altitude. We are currently, however, only on um, just about 3,000 metres kilometers and we're on 40% fuel. We need to reach altitude. Why is it going that way? Oh, let's bank over to about 40 odd. There we go. And we are slowly hitting there. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that so it's basically forced on that way. So it's always gonna try and head that way. And we are coming up to 10k. There we are. So we're 10 10 percent the way there. Second stage go. So we've released the pods, and we're now making good progress. Uh, okay, maybe not good progress. Let's go up a bit more. Surface, as you can see, that's fine. Altitude's going up. In terms of space, we are going to crash down. Not, not too good. Um, we need to increase that. that way. We need to go more up, more altitude, more better. There we go. Yeah, it's a pilot error problem, I think. More altitude. Increase our pitch. It's going all right. Not convinced that we're going to make it, but <laughs> um, I think we should have gone up further rather than along. Yeah, see, we're not we're hardly going up at all. We're just gonna have to go 90 degrees up, and gain more altitude. <laughs> Um, I don't think this is going to function. Uh, more speed. Game speed, rather. The thing is, we've still got a decent amount of fuel. Altitude is currently at close to 30k, and as the atmosphere gets thinner, hopefully we'll be alright. Let's bring that over to about there. There we go. That's increasing that somewhat. And we're still have hardly even left the <laughs> the launch platform. But that's looking better. What is not looking better and looking good at all is our fuel consumption, which is bad. But what we need to do now is get more lateral, and that's increasing our increasing that somewhat. Uh, can we just turn off that for now? No, that's not good. Um, so we've now run out of fuel. However, we can jettison that. We can activate our solar panels. And the question is, is that engine working? Remaining fuel in stage none. Okay, I 
think we've got a problem there. I wonder what this one does. Ah, exactly what you would expect. Right. Okay, abandon flights. And... Just need to test a couple of things. This one. Options. It is... Xenon. So, why did that not work? Also, that's got fuel in it. Allow connected engines to s search this part and its content parts with fuel tanks. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So what fuel type xenon? Hang on then. Activation group none. What? Oh, that that's maybe why it didn't function. Um, stage. All right. So stage one, two, three, four, five. Right, why is ion engine in red? See that? Ion engine is in red. Or maybe it's because I'm selecting it. Hang on. Yeah. It says stage 5. Alright. Well, let's try that again. So. Let's go max out and... Activate. It's all about the base this thing as well, isn't it? So. We're going to have to burn quite a bit of fuel. I don't know when you tilt over. Oh, that's not good. I'm rotating that around. Uh, the ship will tilt over anyway, just because of wind shear and such aerodynamics. It'll slowly tilt over. I think it's too heavy. Look, it's slowly shifting that way. Hmm. See, it seems easy in the tutorials when it's just handed to you on a plate. But what isn't, right? So, we're going to achieve about the same as we had before, I believe. I just want to pause it a second. Slow motion, rather. Fuel zero, fuel zero, and fuel four percent. So it is draining all that, so we know this. Just attach, and... Oh, I think we I think we just clipped that there. <laughs> so, you can see we are going up and over. We do need to canter over to about there, and that will slowly increase this. Right, I think we'll go for a 45 degree. There we are. So far, very easy to control, very easy to build, quite accurate for its namesake, I guess. Simple rockets. As with everything space flighty, though, not always that easy to get it right. Um, and we are, once again, tilting over there. We don't want to do that. I don't know if we have the thrust. I think we've just got too much weight in this. so. This is too heavy to... Yeah, I think it's too heavy. Look at that. See, all that's happening is it's, it's, it's barreling over. I think what we do is shrink that down. Try again. Look at that. It's, it's, it's still <laughs> heading that away. Even though we're pretty much going up, like that. I mean, we might get the challenge dungeons by going up. <laughs> it's a possibility. 50k. Put a little bit of an angle there. There we go. There we go, that's better. 
Oh, actually, when you <laughs> when you get some perspective and zoom out, maybe it's not. Um. Right, that's good. That's good. That's increasing. Let's just head that way. Will it work? It's increasing it. Altitude is looking good. We could just turn the engine off and coast. And we did it. We actually did do that. Let's give a small boost to it. I wonder what that does. Oh, so you can alter the you can alter where you're gonna go there. So we've achieved the uh, quite easy objective of not crashing, um, <laughs> but no successful orbit. However, we have now run out of fuel, so we'll jettison that, we'll activate our solar panels, not that I think we need to, but we'll now activate our little ion engine. Cool. <laughs> I like that. And oh dear, okay, so it doesn't... It really doesn't have much thrust at all, does it? No, it really does not. Um, where are we going to land? We're currently, at this rate, going to land on land. So if we get rid of that... Bye! It goes off. And we'll rotate there. I'm assuming we've got basic RCS on this one. We do have a heat shield. It just looks like you can see through the bottom of it, but it's not. There is a heat shield there. And I'm guessing we're trying re-entry then. <laughs> not on purpose, but we're trying it. And I think that looks like to be about the right angle, perhaps. I'll have to, I'll have to study the Apollo 13 logs. Actually, no, that's, that's, that's definitely not the one you want to <laughs> follow. Because there was the odd problem on that mission. So I'm guessing this is going to start re-entering very, very shortly. I'm guessing that there, them lines. So this is... This is space. And then we've got... That there's the atmosphere going through the... Um, yeah, re-entry basically. Oh, 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 we're going through re-entry already. So you can see we've got the re-entry shield holding us, well, doing us all right. Um, we've got nice glow on there. Good, good. Hmm. Altitude's a problem. Right. Ooh, maybe that was a little bit too early. We'll max it out. And that should be us. Um, I just click on that and it should just stay dead upright. Can we say point down? Oh, it's trying, it's trying, but it's fighting. It's, <laughs> it's fighting itself. Right, just stay there. And, um, yeah, I think that would be it, basically. We're going to land eventually. Uh, we can't go to warp speed because you have to be outside of the atmosphere in order to do that. Uh, there's no end stage, no option for the solar panel. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. But yeah, I think that would land us okay. So despite the perils and the pitfalls and the copious amounts of debris on this planet, we achieved successful... Um, not orbit, but... We broke atmosphere, took a couple of pictures, and come back. And came back, hopefully safe. Parachute, yep. Yeah. Heat shield seems to be not cracked. Oh, oh, bit of sick in the cabin now. But yeah, there we go. It's uh, a marginal success. I obviously need to alter that design, um, probably by putting it in the skip and starting again, but <laughs> at least we achieved that mission. 
To be fair, we over-engineered it. <clears throat> That's um, a common theme around here. But we did manage to build something that was actually went beyond what the mission requirements were, which is not ri Ooh, that's wrong. Which is um, not normally something you want, I guess. You want to do the mission and that's it, rather than um, going overboard. Either way, we will not try that flight again because I think we do need to make some um, fairly drastic alterations to mainly the size of this and, and whatnot because I think it's just too big and yeah, we'll have to read the requirements a bit better. But that has been a little bit of Simple Rockets 2. It is... Quite similar build stuff. It seems to work very quickly when you're building stuff. Yeah, I think the the tools are um, quite efficient and powerful in that regard. Obviously, it's nowhere near your sort of Kerbal Space Program level of um, detail and such. But obviously, it's uh, in early access, and you know that's a mature game. So comparing the two is um, really <laughs> um, quite difficult and unfavorable I guess but it's a different beast it's about you know making it a bit simpler and such but yeah if you like what you see links are in the description so you can check it out yourself I'm interested to at least try some of the other missions and uh, I'm interested to see just what they add in the future as always so if you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings